What up? We back. Uh, I had a feeling this was <laughs> gonna happen, but here it goes. All right, so morning starting off pretty good. I just got done with a delivery. Um, I'm actually blocking someone's driveway right now. I just made a turn around that corner and my freaking airline and everything got ripped out. How I look right there. And I told Penske I wanted this whole thing removed. I wanted this whole thing removed. And in a previous video, I actually fixed this airline um, so it wouldn't get snagged on anything. I, I pulled it up some and look, it's even, so this was a brand new socket like a couple months ago and it's already broken. So now this is no good. Thankfully I have my ops manager go out and get me a replacement one. So, oh, that's the blue one. So now I got to find the red one. Hang on. Told her a couple blues, couple reds. Here's the red one. So now, you know, I plan on doing this for you guys anyway, but, um, wait, where did I put the other one at? I'm losing it. Right here. So this is the blue, this is the red. So instead of waiting for roadside assistance, I'm just pull this off, right? So we're not gonna need anything from here cause that's completely gone. I knew I should have uh, checked. I, sh I mean, I should have changed my blade, but we're gonna, I'm gonna see if I have any spares in here cause I was gonna do that yesterday i actually needed the box cutter for something yesterday but you can see i i ended up dragging my wheels all the way over there and because i'm on dirt on the other side the the truck won't even the truck won't even pull um the truck won't even pull the trailer so um and look it even broke the damn mud flap you gotta be kidding me ah what a day what a day what a day all right so good news is it looks like i don't even think i used the other side of this blade yet so and i always buy carbide tip blades because they last longer and they're a little less uh prone to to uh cracking or chipping i should say so it's all good uh we're just gonna take today as it comes you know um so uh i should have taken a picture of that wrapped around it i think that's what i am gonna do right now just so that i have it for my records because i did tell penske that i want it this removed So I'm gonna just put it back. So that way cars behind me know what's going on. So I've never done this before, but uh, I think this is a half inch glad hand to a, uh, to a um, three eighths hose fitting. Yep, DOT, yep, right there. Uh, so I got two adjustable wrenches. I know that this comes out i think this goes inside of the hose or something uh no this goes inside the hose because the glad hand goes here like that and yeah so i'm gonna put this back together until i get the so i get the hose all squared away with uh having a fresh bit on it not a fresh bit what do you call this uh fresh end i should say so instead of waiting for roadside assistance 
which I know they're gonna charge me for because they're like, oh, you should check your lines. I did, and I even got it on camera. I checked my lines, and that hose shouldn't even be on there. And I told them that when I picked it up, and they were like, oh, it's not an issue. We'll, we'll just leave it. I'm like, dude, really? So, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part off and make sure that I got, so I put the sleeve over it. It looks like I put that right there so that the nozzle goes inside like this goes inside here. So it's nice and flush. And then I'm pretty sure what I do is i just twist it all the way on and then i take my two adjustables harbor freight you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and the thing is this line was leaking this morning uh this line was leaking a little bit and then what i ended up doing was just tightening it and then I'm gonna just tighten that. And what I should do is I should turn on the truck so I could build some air pressure. I'm not sure if I lost any. Well, I know I did coming around the corner because the red button was still pushed in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, uh, again, don't mind the mess. It's like, I, I still gotta clean it. So yeah, so. Now that that's on there. Pretty sure I should tighten it all the way. But yeah, so um, if you guys didn't check it out already, Harbor Freight has this thing where you could become like an inside track club member. I think it's like around 40 bucks for a year or 60 bucks for two years or whatever and uh damn i don't have any tape oh well let's see if it holds 